Welcome back guys. This is the first installment of a multi-part video series on the building of the Crossbow Classic Pulse Induction Metal Detector. First up will be the power supply. Alright, so let's take a very brief look at the portion of the schematic that we're going to be working on. And as we stated, it is the power supply. So I've outlined here in blue the portion of the schematic to uh, better enable you to gather the appropriate uh, materials to build out the power supply. So just to preface here, I'm not incorporating the battery charger into my build. So I've excluded the battery charger and some these other battery charger components on the right hand side of the screen. So what we have is we have the battery and we've got their on, on off switch and everything else within the boundaries here. Um, here on the schematic it's a, a 7660 and as I stated or I will state depending on how the video goes together. I use an LT1054. You can use either one. Um, the other three main components here are these linear voltage regulators. We have two 79L05s. You can see them right here. One of them is for uh, minus five digital and we have a 78L05 for the plus 5 volts. And we also have up here a little bit, uh, I covered it up a little bit, that's test point 5, and that is where you're going to hook onto for your ground reference. And as I stated, the ground reference is plus 12 volts battery, okay? And that's it. Quick and dirty. All right, thank you. All right, guys, here's a shot of the board with the power supply populated on it. Um, I've got an LT1054. You can use a 7660 if you want. I prefer the LT1054. We've got two 79L05s. Those are for the uh, minus 5 volts. We've got a 78L05 for the plus 5 volts. And that's really about it. Okay, you can see the other assorted capacitors and some diodes, but that's it. And let's take a look next and make sure it works. I'll show you the readings on the digital multimeter. All right, so let's go ahead and check the plus 5 volts and the minus 5 volts. Uh, don't forget, in this project, we have two different negative 5 volts. One is for digital. Um, so what I'm going to do is check pin number 8 of U6 and U1. Okay, there we go. Nominal negative 5. And this is pin 8 of U1. Once again, nominal negative 5. And that is the minus 5 digital. Okay, and we go over to U3. And there we have the the regular minus 5 and positive 5 or nominal positive 5. So uh, once again reminder to when you're checking voltages here um, it is the, the, the plus 12 battery is the ground reference so you would put your black lead from your from your multimeter 
to the ground reference and take your voltage readings with your red lead. All right, that's it for this installment and on to the transmit portion.